Overall, the, the whole NAB Cup process and the pre-season, how are the boys looking heading into round one? Yeah, I guess uh, you never really know, but um, it, what, what's been good for us is we've probably had a few players... Um, I guess a bit behind throughout the pre-season. It's given a really good opportunity for our second, first, second, third year players to sort of stand up and get a really good taste of senior footy over a two or three week period. So uh, from that point of view, it's been, I, I think, pretty impressive just to you know, test our depth a little bit and, uh, and sort of give us a bit of an insight to you know, pl people playing in different positions and just being able to sort of add a bit more flexibility to the team. So, uh, yeah, looking into round one now, it's, uh, you know, I guess training's going to be really interesting this week to see who puts their hand up. OK, and we've got Geelong uh, Friday night at the MCG, always a tough opponent. Um, how do you think it will go? Yeah, look, it's going to be a really, really good game. Um, you know, they've been, uh, I guess, written off by some people in the media, but um, you know, make no mistake, I think they're as hungry as ever and just got some, you know, some superstar players and just a really quality organisation. So, um, you know, I guess it's going to test us. It's, 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 it's going to be a great, you know, great contest, I think. Um, you know, I think... Our last, you know, four or five matchups against them, you know, there's been that rivalry there from yeah. the 09 granny onwards, and and uh, you know, I just think it's going to be, you know, they'll come out really hard and fierce, and, and we're just going to have to match them in those those stakes as well, and and I guess just the team that's more disciplined for longer will probably come out on top. But uh, as we've learnt in the past, you know, Geelong, no matter what stage, or you know, they're, they're a really quality team, and and uh, I think they'll, they'll be up and about. Okay, and one last thing, with um, your role as midfield and ruck coach, uh, what changes have you had to make with the new substitute rule? Yeah, look, I guess for us, we sort of probably one of the least rotating teams from the last couple of years, so I think that'll hold us in good stead um, from playing time for our, for our mids and everyone, but I guess the one rule that's you know, sort of interesting for me is uh, being a ruckman, I think it's a probably it's probably a little bit harsh, maybe, you know, so I think some teams will probably just play the one recognised ruckman and yep. And might have to pinch it with a you know key forward, or so I think that's going to be interesting to see what, how that plays out. Whether teams get play with two or one ruckman, but um, look, it's certainly going to uh, you know allow players to play longer on field. So I guess the the, the the more mids you have as a they can play forward or back, it's going to be able to help you sort of them stay on the ground and and give you you know greater flexibility, I guess, on that interchange. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how how it, how it works, and uh, you know. Um, from, from our point of view, I think it's going to suit, suit us, just as I said before, with the rotations we had last year and probably our ability for a couple of key forwards to be able to pinch it in the ruck as well. So, um, yeah, look, it'll be interesting, but um, hopefully, hopefully it suits us pretty well.